Hi Virgo, welcome to your three month reading. We are expanding on July, August, and September 2024. Let's see what is coming your way as we look at these upcoming three months here for you. Let's see what is coming your way, what you need to know, or what messages could offer confirmation, closure, or clarity. As always, Virgo, you know I love reading down below in the comments where you are tuning in from, what city, state, or country you proudly represent, or where you're currently located as you listen to this message today. So if you feel comfortable sharing, Virgo, I'd love to, um, to know. I love reading your guys' comments. Oh, okay. Looks like we have oh, these three. Okay, oh, actually, you have, wow. Okay, hold on, Virgo. You have six Oracle messages coming through as we look at these three months. Let's take a look and see what these are saying here for you. And then we will get to your tarot horoscope message. All right, so your first, this is the beautiful imagery. We have delay. Confront the natural tendency to delay the finishing of a creative endeavor. So what is it that you are possibly holding off on that needs attention to at this time, Virgo, or in these upcoming months? Okay, so we have that. Oh, actually, I'll put this here if you want to focus on that word. Your second oracle message for these upcoming three months, cycles. The wind blows, the wheel turns, we go three cycles, just like nature, because we are a part of nature. So experiencing the ups and downs, the turns and the twists. We also see new phases. You possibly being introduced to new phases, new situations, new environments. Um, it reminds me of a roller coaster, right? Sometimes you feel down, but then you go up. When you're up, you may be going through some dips, but you're gonna come back up again. So we do see some cycles that you'll be experiencing Oh, there's actually five. Okay, I thought there was six. Next message, we have worry. Worry is attachment to a particular outcome and the fear that it will not come to pass. So not stressing out too much on the outcome, but instead enjoying the process or the journey. Also working on eliminating that anxiousness, um, that anxiety that paralyzes us or that keeps us stuck i'm hearing also like don't get so hung up on the details something about like don't focus so much on the details focus on like the the broader picture here for your fourth message we have new start sometimes we must realize that what we have done needs to be discarded and we must make a new start New beginnings, new journey, new start, new path. Hmm, beautiful. It's fitting too because we have the butterfly, which represents transformation, coming out of the caterpillar and the cocoon phase and opening up with new wings to embark and experience the new life cycle. Oh, speaking of new life cycle, we see that with cycles. Okay, and then your fifth oracle message, we have nurture. For self-care, try loving and nurturing yourself as you would a child or a pet very important for us to realize that virgo you know sometimes we put a lot of care and attention in others over ourselves so moving into july really practice self-compassion self-love self-healing and um you know putting your needs first because i mean you only have one you you only have one life right all right, let's go ahead and begin. Let's see what messages are coming through for Virgo. Oh, these are coming out strong. First, I'm seeing, okay, so the lovers and the ace of wands, the burn. I see a very passionate burn. This feels like um, not a slow burn, but I would say an instant attraction, but that slowly starts to expand into something like bigger and bigger with each passing time. So eventually it takes time to, you know, grow that flame, but I see you spending a lot of time in this passion or with this person where it's going to grow rapidly. 
Now with the lovers and the ace of wands, if you are finding yourself single in this time of your life, you're not going to be single for long. We see there's a, a spark, a connection, passionate, yeah, passionate connection coming through attraction. For those that are happily in a love relationship, this is also applying uh, to you because you and your partner may be bonding more, deepening that bond, reviving that love, or there could be like a vow, vows being renewed or your anniversary coming up. There's a lot of, um, I see like physical, um, physical and like emotional connection that's like deepening the the relationship spending a lot of time quality time vacationing doing things together sharing goals expanding on those goals now aside from love in general virgo this also applies to you because when we look at the lovers it represents something that you that is a part of you that you enjoy that you love Okay, whether that's a hobby, a job, a career, maybe how you identify yourself in this world as an artist, as a parent, as a nurturer, whatever it is that you love, okay? Now that love we see is going to spark, it's going to create something for yourself. The okay, the torch here is going to be lit. That that passion is going to create some spark of fuel that is going to emerge and become something very beautiful and magical. I can't quite put my finger on it just because each and every one of you Virgos are different, but just know that your passion is going to take you there and going to take you far, okay? Your passion is going to be that light that will get you through the dark or that will see you through. So keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. There's some type of passion whether it's your energy, your skill, your determination, something that you're just in love with the thoughts of, that passion, you're going to see those results, that spark of um, change coming through too. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely see by the third year you're going to, it's, you're, I don't want to say you're, you're not going to recognize your life, but it's going to be something that you couldn't have imagined. It's just better than what you had imagined. Let's see, Virgo. What else is coming in these next three months? July, August, and September of 2024 for Virgo. What else do we have for them coming through? Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to read... Okay. Well, I f this I feel like this came um, like these two were paired together like that. Okay, and then I'll read these as well. So we have seven of swords, but we also see seven of pentacles in reverse that came through along with the hermit. What I'm hearing is that even though there is a separation or a detachment happening. It's, I don't want to say you're afraid to be alone, but don't worry. There's something here where it's saying like, don't worry because what you feel that you are going to lose out on, you're not going to lose out on or you're not going to be alone. You're going to, it's going to be replaced with something better. Also with the seven of swords, there is some split that I see that you're going to be encountering or because you're thinking about it. Whether it's at this current moment or in these upcoming weeks or in the next month, there is something here that you are strongly considering or you're about to consider separating, detaching, eliminating yourself. This could also be something that has been weighing in on your mind, Virgo. You know, there's something here that you know you need to let go of certain things in your um, in your possession. It could be a person, but this air, this energy feels very like light, like air. Like wanting to get rid of the stress or the clutter or the noise, the drama, the sh like the anxiety. Like you're wanting to uh, eliminate, you know, the, the the doubt, the insecurity, and it's almost like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for something that. It's like you're tired of waiting 
for something that you put in a lot of effort and not seeing that return happen. So you're making a conscious decision to detach yourself from that outcome of expecting a particular result to happen. So in other words, Virgo, it could be maybe like a job, right? It's like, okay, this job is causing you a lot of stress. You're choosing to let go of this job because you were hoping that it was going to get better. You're hoping you're going to get that raise and you're seeing that maybe you're better off without that job or you're better off without having that stress and leaving that position or that company. So even though you are detaching from something, you're not going to be alone for long and it's allowing you an opportunity to experience or to come across something better, something new. But I do see a split happening. Some type of split where you're just realizing it's not worth the wait. And you're embarking on something, something different. You're no longer sitting around waiting. We also have the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups, ooh, and the Page of Pentacles coming through. So taking charge, going after it. This feels very spontaneous. I do see you catching others off guard. For a collective group of you, Virgo, you're going to do something just so unexpected where people did not see it coming. They did not see that your next move. They did not see you, you know, doing something or producing something and it's like they were sleeping on you or they overlooked you or they doubted you but it's almost like their their doubt or their disbelief in you created some type of fire within yourself to grab and see other like opportunities that surround you i i don't want to say revenge is like the sweetest how's that expression go like revenge is like the sweetest revenge? No, that doesn't make sense. Some type of comeback will be like your sweetest revenge. Maybe they didn't think you were going to start that business or they didn't think you were going to find that other job. They didn't think you were going to find a better partner than them. There's something here like they over, over um, underestimated you. They underestimated you and you can overachieve. Somewhere here, I'm also seeing with the Four of Cups, it's like you were tired you're like fed up with something not changing as well in your life, Virgo. And with that, you're taking matters into your own hands. You're like, okay, you know what? I'm tired of the way I look or I'm tired of the way I'm being treated. I'm tired of not seeing results. I'm tired of the way that my life is. And you are open to take situations and opportunities that, that kind of like jump and that come your way. Let me pull one more uh, message and then I'm going to take a look at your crystals here, Virgo. Let's see your crystals. Interesting. A lot of things happening too. Huh? Okay. Let's see. So we have judgment. I see a big transformation coming through. Some of you could be a spiritual transformation. The judgment is also a big awakening. I also see that there is a higher calling for you to a higher purpose that you are going to be led to lean into. Some of you are going to hear this, this higher calling through the universe, right? Like you will feel led to do something or to go somewhere or to connect with someone. And you're like, this is out of my control. Um, sometimes this looks like synchronicity too. You being at the right time, at the right place, with the right person. Yeah, so fate is definitely playing it, uh, <laughs> playing a role in your upcoming months, especially when it comes to um, passionate interests. Some higher purpose and role I see for you, Virgo, um, has to do also with your career. Some type of career or financial situation like the role that you're stepping up to in these next few weeks are preparing you for who you're going to become in the next month or two okay you're taking on new responsibilities you're learning new skills you're um, upgrading like your life and your outlook but it's all shaping you into who you're meant to become the two of swords also came through with the five of swords interesting 
because the two of swords is showing like heavy decisions and we saw your first oracle message was delay so there is something here that you're going to have to make a, a decision on virgo because that decision will determine on whether you proceed with the next stage in the next level in your life or you stay and you relive or redo some type of lesson that you're meant to understand fully because i do believe that sometimes when we don't learn the life lesson it happens again and again okay until we understand it so you find yourself going back to the same toxic person getting mistreated but it's because you're meant to learn something again and again like you're, you're meant to fully <laughs> grasp okay maybe you're not meant to be treated this way you have to learn how to set boundaries you're here to learn how to recognize red flags you're here to um you know experience xyz so there's something here with the two of swords virgo that your whatever decision that you are deciding to do it's going to have this cause and effect with okay if you stay you're going to experience something again or if you go you're moving on to the next stage because this two of swords it feels like a very very heavy decision Sometimes the Two of Swords is also a representation of um, knowing that you need to move on or that you want to move on, but there's some type of hesitation that's keeping you, okay, the worry of the new cycle, the new journey, the new start. So you stay, like this person has a two, so you stay and you go through the same thing again. It's like playing a video game. You need maybe some of you would just like to play the same level again and again and again and you find new treasure chests but some of you you're like okay you know what eventually as much as i enjoy this level i know i need to move on to the next level it's going to be a little bit more harder it's going to be challenging i don't know who i'm going to come across but that's what life is all about the excitement so making big decisions knowing that virgo you're probably ready for the next level okay your hesitation too some i'm seeing like you're ready something that like you're ready some of you are ready to be that parent you're ready to adopt some of you are like you're ready to take the lead you're ready to step up in your life you're ready to take something on like single-handedly like there's something here where it's like you're ready um and it will be better okay like you, the outcome will be better than maybe what you had anticipated and maybe that's why like there's the fear because you don't know how it's going to turn out and you could be the, the reason why you're holding yourself back. But let's see what your oracle, your crystal card is, Virgo. The leopard skin jasper is your gem here, your stone, your affirmation. I observe my surroundings and I know I am divinely guided. Ooh, beautiful. Improve peripheral awareness. Become the objective observer. Increase consciousness of reactions to others. Increase mental, physical, and your emotional flexibility, Virgo. So until then, stay well and be blessed.